ンバーワンの。ゲーム。一番。一番。A few days ago, I joined the Nogami Koi farm for my first ever harvest with this breeder. I'm in Japan to make videos of the most beautiful and special fish in the world. To a brand new episode here on the channel, and I decided to do different things a bit different than I announced in the first few episodes. It's so hard to create like one hour vlog videos. So I'm going back to the old style, and today we are at the first time we have something new. We are at Nogami Koi farm. And this is the first time I joined the harvest. It's the second year or Nisai harvest of Kohaku. I'm a big fan of the Kohaku. <laughs> Nogami family is preparing behind me. I really like their Kohaku, their style, the Benny and, and their fish. So it、uh, will be nice.、Uh, we have some slight rain, but it's clearing up. We have blue sky in the back, so that will mean that the sun will come. Everyone is preparing, so let's go to the mud pond and see.、Um, have, a have a look at the amazing two year. From an Ogami Koi farm. So, on our way to the mud pond, I'm in a car with Shigara san. Is it she? Yeah, she. Shigara san. C H I. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's always hard to pronounce the name yeah, well. Japanese,、right? <laughs> Japanese names. <laughs> so, how far is it driving to the mud pond? Just a few minutes, two or three. Oh, that's good. So, very close to home.、Right. <laughs> nice. A rainbow, guys, so that means that it will probably be nice weather. Blue sky is coming, and、um, this is、uh, there are 40 pieces in here 40 pieces of Kohaku.、Uh, it was a short drive, like three four minutes from the Koi house, from the greenhouse, and、um, yeah, looking forward to the results. So, this is、um, like 40 pieces is、uh, average. Average number for these k i n d of sizes, mud ponds.、Um, you don't want to put too much koi in there because then they have less growth. So, 40 is a good amount so the koi have enough space to grow and、um, yeah, they can get the results they want. You already took off a、um, feeding machine. Yeah, already. Yeah. Like one, one, one week ago.、Mm -hmm. Stop、so、feeding. We, yeah, just yeah. feeding for i k e a g e Good. Yeah. For health. Yes. So, Uh, the breeder explains that they stop、uh, feeding the fish for the harvest,、um, so they don't have that much stress. That's the same thing they do when they, when they ship the koi.、Uh, a couple of weeks before shipping, they stop feeding so the fish cannot、um, pollute themselves when they're in the bag and having a bit of stress. I mean, they will have some stress, not too much, but you don't want to prevent them getting more stressed. So that's one of the reasons. What are they gonna do now? They're gonna. Get the harvest, they, what are they gonna do? They get the fish with the big net, gonna make a round, as you have seen in all the other videos. And I would say, let's skip to the part where we actually see the fish in one of those swimming pools, the famous swimming pools that they put them in.、Uh, and with this color, the blue one, the red will really stand out. Sun is coming, I see a very nice rainbow. Look at that! <laughs> so that's,、uh, that's really good. Today, there's、um, a television here from Japanese television, they are following the Nogami family, so it will be nice to have some people here around the harvest. The farm was founded in 1968 by Hisayuki Nogami. The love for Koi stems from the love for a woman. He married the older sister of Miyori Mano, the founder of the Dainichi Koi farm. Today, the farm is run by Hisata Nogami and his son Shikara. So many pe、uh, people question me,、uh, ask me the question how they get the predators out of here. Well, this is one of the things that help the birds <laughs> staying out of the、uh, mud ponds.、Uh, sometimes birds get into these fishing lines, but then the breeder they check the mud ponds every single morning and then they help the, the birds out. Um, they will place a net around here too, so bears and that kind of animals aren't allowed here to,、uh, to get in the mud pond. So they have to do the,、um, the harvest slowly because if they're not doing it, some koi can escape.
So the first 10 pieces are in here, including a nice Showa that's in there. Uh, great size, guys. I think they're between 45, 55 cm. Look at the Benny on that one. Great, great body too. Um, total 40 pieces, so this one uh, will fill up, get filled up more. So, um, yeah, very nice. Nice Maruti Kahaku, another show up. To uh, this fat. Ma, kuru mo ano? Kaya niya kyo tukete ja. <laughs> so the Japanese interviewers are asking questions about the koi. So they can make a, a nice item for their television show. <laughs> Great camera. So the house is more for the house. Such a beautiful view. So the last few pieces are getting out. How much uh, left? Last two? No, last seven. Seven, still seven? Yeah. Okay. Seven to go. Train. <laughs> so we arrived at the greenhouse. It's time to put the fish uh, in, the, in the ponds here, so we can take a closer look. These fish are will, will be for sale. So maybe he will keep some for his own uh, collection to grow them to, uh, to some size, three years old. What I really like here at Nogami Koi Farm is that you got those flexible koi ponds where you can really take a good close look on the, on the fish. So there are some showa in here, huh? Uh -huh. Two or three showa? Uh, three, yeah, three showa. Three. Nice. You pick them? <laughs> you choose or? <laughs> That's for Narita Ocho. Ah, okay. Uh, it's, it's sold. Ah, uh, it's already sold. Okay, yeah, showa sold. <laughs> Checking if it's female or male. Yes, female. Female.
これいい声だねナイスナンバーワンフィメル一番一番 Why 一番 Please explain ボディ and also 白地 is really white、mm-hmm. キワキワマルジョンマルジョンやはい Perfect You keep <laughs> Keep or for sale? <laughs> mm, difficult Keep <laughs> I think keep <laughs> So that was his number one. Kohaku. That's done. I really like how they are discussing the qualities. They, they did see this koi for a couple of months. They were in the mud ponds, I think, since May or June. And.、Um, <clears throat> They,、um, so them is the first time they see the fish from the mud ponds, and they can see which one are males and females. Only at this size and age, it's possible to see it. And even sometimes, when it's hard to see, like when they're three years old, change, but it's、uh, beautiful quality, is very good. Okay. Yeah, these are the males.、Uh, Look at the show on top. Look at that. That skin quality is insane. Beautiful fish. And then we've got two Kohakus here. Absolutely amazing. When did they go to、uh, Mud Pond? Was it May or June? May.、I、May.、Yeah. And you think it was good summer?、Mm, yeah. Good. Basically. <coughs> Good temperature, enough rain. Enough rain, yes. <laughs> Sometimes too much rain. But yeah, but better than no rain.、Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What do you think, male? Female. I think female. Female. <laughs> Mm. Nice kill. Thank you.